Provision of ventilation. You may be able to increase the number of openings and therefore improve ventilation. Testing the air. It may be necessary to check it is free from toxic and flammable vapours. Provide special tools and lighting. Non-sparking tools may be required where flammable atmospheres are likely. Provide breathing apparatus. If air inside the space is not safe to breathe or could become unsafe during the work due to gas, fumes, vapour or lack of oxygen. Emergency arrangements. These will need to cover the necessary equipment, training and practice drills. Rescue harnesses. Lifelines attached to harnesses should run back to a point outside the confined space. Communication. An adequate communication system is needed between those inside and outside the space. Alarm method. Ensure the alarm can be raised at all times quickly in an emergency.